crushes. We'll be back in a little time. We'll take this a little time. First of all, good luck. All right, so we're set to go. Manny's got on the red gloves. He's wearing his blue, light blue trunks, and uh, Algeria's wearing blue with white and red. Well, and Algeria considers himself the true Rocky story. He is a severe underdog. He knows it, but he's not bothered by it. He's ready to achieve what many think is unachievable. Can he do it? Well, he did it against Provodnikov, and uh, it was the same situation for him there. Trunks look in similar colors. Of course, you know these fighters. Pacquiao has the white on top of his trunks. Algeri has the white going down the side since uh, Manny's uh, on uh, the monitors look uh, not as light as they are when you see him in reality. Algeri has his name in the back and Pacquiao has his name on the front. Manny also has the solid red gloves, red, white, and blue shoes. And Chris has the tassels on his shoes. And just in case that you're been watching fights under a rock someplace and you don't know who Manny Pacquiao is. He's the southpaw to the left of your screen. And you can see a stark, distinct difference in the two's size. Pacquiao caught him with a shot right there, Rich. And that's a little bit surprising. Many, and I think the general consensus is that Algeria will have his best moments early utilizing his movement, that it would be just the opposite of the fight with Provodnikov when he had the terrible first round and had to come on late to win. But Pacquiao is putting on some pressure here. Algeri moves around that. He's very athletic. He moves around that ring very easily. He's a great athlete. He's well conditioned. But Manny, you know, for all that he does, when it comes to boxing, he gets real serious. He seems to be able to appropriate the right amount of time for everything that he does in his life and he has never come into a fight that he wasn't in great shape. Well, I'll tell you, I've never, in regards to what you say, Colonel, seen any athlete in any sport compartmentalize different categories in their lives the way that Manny Pacquiao is able to do it. Well, it's so hard to do. You've got to be a consummate professional and take every part of your life, and, and when you're involved with that part, you just focus on it. And he's focused for tonight, I can assure you of that. So is Chris. That's why this is so interesting. Chris hasn't landed anything heavy yet. He's relying on the jab, relying on his height and reach. He slipped on the Takati sign there with his back foot, so he had no power when he went with the right hand. Manny continues to sort of chase him around, which is probably what he's going to have to do most of the night because Chris does move, and he moves well. And he picks his shots, and he's trying to take advantage of his jab. The whole thing about Algeri's size, the fact that he's so tall and has the big reach advantage, and Pacquiao seemed hardly concerned about that at all. He said, look, I've fought taller fighters, a lot taller fighters than me before. I fought Antonio Margarito, just destroyed him. And uh, he has been working, however, with big guys in his sparring. Victor Postal, who's 5'11", and uh, Mike Jones, who's a six-footer. So he's been working out with guys who have that same kind of height. Round one in the books, that's a Pacquiao round, just based on more punches thrown and more activity. So that, that was kind of a, a punch that he took uh, up the hands of Algeri that really puffed up that eye of his. And we'll see how much of a factor that turns out to be. That was one of the few uh, really good punches that Algeri landed in round one, but it was effective and very important because it, you could see in the slow motion where it stretched the eye down, which would cause that thing to pop up. Caught him again with the left hook. Manny went after him, but the gloves were up protecting Algeri. Algeri looks very calm in there to me. Very calm. I mean, this is a huge stage for him. Fighting on HBO in the United States and toprank.com worldwide. It's huge. The, the one other new thing we mentioned, as we see Manny going to the body here of Algeri, with some good shots. This time he incorporated basketball into his life as well of all, as all those other things that you mentioned. Colonel, there's a yeah, first, that, that's first knockdown. Did he of the call fight. that a knockdown? Yes. Yeah, because his right foot Four, slipped from beneath him, five, and the uh, six, replay will show that seven, on that logo. Eight, but it's officially scored as a knockdown. There might have been a punch behind it, but when we see the replay, you watch the way the foot slips behind him. But there. that's uh, that's going to make it a 10-8 uh, round anyway for Manny Pacquiao. 
The important uh, feature at this stage of the fight is that it wasn't a big knockdown. He wasn't hurt by it at all. And I think if we have a wide shot of the replay, that we'll see that his foot slipped uh, from behind him. And Gino was in too tight to see that. And because Algeri went through the nightmare of that first round against Ruslan Provodnikov, I don't think that that bothers him at all. The fact that he had a brief visit to the canvas there. I'm very anxious to see the replay to see if what I thought I saw and that slip across the way was exactly what happened and what punch came just before. But it's officially scored as a knockdown. Man, he really chasing after this guy. Caught him with a decent right hand that time. That actually was the better punch. <laughs> a much better punch than whatever happened to score the knockdown. Now, as the fights wear on, Manny starts putting these punches together. He starts punching two, three, four, five punches at a time. And now Jerry's going to have to show that he can deal with that. Well, he doesn't want to mix it up with him, especially early. And there he is with a punch out with that right hand that's been effective on a couple of occasions for Chris. He's got new shoes on, which I would expect he has. They're not scuffed up enough, and that's a problem. You have wet logos in the corner this time of, uh, you know, when there's been a lot of fights already, although that wasn't a new performance. All right, the bell ends, and that's it. All right, we'll take a look at some of the action there now. Pacquiao coming forward. You did see a punch, but as he goes back, his legs definitely slip out from underneath him. But the fact that the punch gave momentum to him going backwards that's why they called it a knockdown but it's a spurious knockdown yeah it actually was his right foot the, his toe that slipped behind him and he was in the process of falling down anyway so Gino called it right and you know when the fight goes into the corner the referee moves in so he can't see the feet so you call what you see and so Gino uh, Rodriguez a veteran of more than 70 world title fights call that one right this is round number three, Manny Pacquiao on the assault. I thought it was interesting in his corner when his trainer said to Algeri, we've got two more like this. So in other words, he will, he's figuring on four rounds of Algeri basically running, boxing, moving, and then then beginning to set down on his punches perhaps and take, uh, take command of the fight. That might be dreaming, but well, his Las Vegas trainer, Tim Lane, knows what he's talking about. He's a former world champion kickboxer. And has been working with him in Las Vegas. And, of course, uh, Keith Trimble works with him in New York. And they're both here tonight. And keep in mind that although Manny's taking the early lead here, by this time in the fight with Provodnikov, Algeria was a complete train wreck. Totally, yeah. His eye was blown up, his nose was busted, it has been down two times. Well, in order to offset what already has happened, Algeri needs to win three rounds in a row, and he's not winning this round. Manny Pacquiao is outboxing him right now. But it sounds almost calculated the way Chris is fighting at this stage in the fight, according to what Tim was saying in the corner. Now Jerry facing you, Manny Pacquiao with his back to you. This fight is for the WBO Welterweight Championship of the World. Manny Pacquiao is that current champ. And of course, Al Jerry is the 140 pound champ. You know, he's having some luck with that lead right, Al Jerry. Yeah, he is. He's caught him, uh, I think, three times that I've counted so far with the lead right hand. And it just glanced below the chin. Clearly, Algeri has a strategy, and they're sticking to it. And it's, as his trainer said prior to the fight, it would not be a surprise strategy. We all know what he's going to do. He's not going to fight in a phone booth with him. And he shouldn't, but he's given away these first three rounds, and that's for sure. Manny goes with that left-hand uh, lead. When he loads that up, that's his power shot. You can knock a guy out for that. Nice body shot by Pacquiao. Closing seconds now. This is the third round of the fight. 
A little bit of a chess match right now for Manny to try and catch up with this guy and figure him out, but he's won every round. Certainly, I don't. I don't see like tiring or anything like that. Or, in fact, Pacquiao really hasn't unloaded a high l number of punches. Not for him. But you know, he's been doing a lot of chasing too, and that you know that may be what he's saying about you know it's working exactly the way we want. We want him chasing you down and try and tire the older guy out. Pacquiao's an expert at cutting the ring off and punching from angles. And now, now his work rate is coming up a bit and landing more. Body shot, nothing too heavy. Manny looks almost a little frustrated sometimes. Yeah, but he's well, catching him with some decent shots too, Rich. Well, Manny's coming real good right now. He's cutting the distance. Algeri wants to keep it a distance fight. Well, that part, if, if that's what they were talking about in the corner, Algeria is certainly executing it. But he walked into a nice uppercut there. Gets back, protects himself, takes him on the gloves. Algeria felt that uppercut. Yes, he did. Good body shot, three punches by Manny. Chris goes with that right hand lead, which has been effective for him. He's a nice punch. Yeah, he rolls away from that right hand pretty good. As he was sliding down the ropes, did uh, Chris Algieri. <laughs> Couldn't tell if that one really nailed him. The crowd reacts to everything <laughs> that Manny does, whether the punch lands or doesn't land. And I don't think that one particularly landed. And he, he has that right hand again. So Algieri, you know, touching Manny up a few times with the right hand. Twice in this round. Just missed that one, did Chris. So he's trying to keep him away with the left jab and every once in a while go with the right hand lead, which has been effective, and it was effective against Kravetnikov several occasions. But certainly Freddie, who trained Kravetnikov for that fight, knows everything about Algeria. Of course, Freddie thought that this fight wouldn't go past three rounds. Well, you know, Freddie is... Uh, he backs his guys. Yeah, he does. Freddie's Freddie. I learned one thing over a 40-year career, Rich. I never listen to trainers. I'm a little surprised that that right-hand lead has been as successful as it is for Al Cherry. Well, you know, that hurts. Pacquiao landing a very damaging left cross. All right, we get ready to go to round four. The Colonel Bob Sheridan here with Rich Murata, Christina Punches. Working with us as well. Our principal's in there, Chris Algieri, with his back to you. That's Benny Pacquiao facing you with the red gloves on. I'm interested in seeing here, Colonel, if Algieri now tries to pick up his offensive output. Because they talk, remember, after the second round, you got two more rounds of this. After the third round, you see what's happening? It's all unfolding. So apparently, I would think that by plan, round five is when they expect to start picking it up. Well, they better start picking it up because he's got to win. After four rounds, he's got to win five straight rounds just to be even. Don't forget, we had that knockdown back in the uh, second round. Manny on the assault again. Most of those punches were missing, though, by Pacquiao. I didn't think that was low. Al Jerry facing you now. White gloves. Manny the southpaw. He went with that uh, left hand lead that time. And the right hand lead for the Orthodox fighter, Al Jerry, has been successful for him. Staying back, Al Jerry picks his shots when he comes in. Manny tries to keep pressure on, and Al Jerry making a miss a lot. Can you remember, Rich, I'm trying to think if I've seen Manny missing any shots as he's missing tonight as well. 
and he's landing more, but he's missing a lot of shots too with the movement of Algeria. No, no, I really can't. Uh, yeah, he has missed a quite a few punch. He's missed quite a few just in this round alone. Yeah. Well, that's what made me think of it, particularly. Minute to go in the fifth. Algeria trying to get that jab going. I mean, Chris is doing fine boxing, but he's, he's just not scoring enough. There's not enough offense. His defense is beautiful, except for Manny lands more punches. He's, you know, he goes to that right hand. That right hand has been the most effective. He fainted with the left, but didn't let the right hand go. He's got to let his hands go more, I'll tell you that. I do think this has been Algeria's best round. It has been, but he still hasn't landed enough shots. Manny has landed more. As, as many as he misses, he still is landing more. But none of them, very few of them are clean. Maybe that's what they're talking about in Algeria's corner. And if that's the case, then, you know, that's his strategy. Closing seconds now of this, the fifth round. In a chess match of a fight, the low pack yells in front. By the way, that's unofficially. All right, so here we go. And there's a round that Rich thought that you could make a case for uh, Algeria, and I wouldn't uh, disagree with him one bit that Algeria may very well have won the fifth round. I think at least some judges will be split on that one. Well, is Manny more active but still hasn't landed anything here in the sixth? Taken on the back of the glove. We have not seen yet the whirlwind, and we may see it from Manny, and that hurricane force that he can become in the ring. But I think we suspect that that might be the case for a few rounds because of the style of Algeria. Well, let's say in the first uh, minute of this sixth round, Pacquiao hasn't landed a shot. Now, Chris may have only landed one or two, but Manny hasn't landed anything. Well, this is the jab, jab, jab. Up the big. And he caught him a couple of times there now. And that steals the eyes of the judges. I'll tell you one thing, when, when Algeri feels Manny, he gets out of town quick. Yeah, he does. But he really hasn't taken a real solid flush shot. And if he has, it's only been one or two. I didn't think that was a low blow. I mean, he was reaching in and, but I'm not the referee. And Gino's right on top of it. That was a good one. That was a good shot is right. And his man, he realized he may have hurt him, and he dropped him. And that's kind of the way he rolled over against Fedekoff in the first round of the last fight. It was that first shot that got him. Man, he's got a full minute now to try to Make his prediction of a knockout come true. Well, he wasn't he wasn't hurt badly by that. It's funny the way he rolls over. And... Well, let's see if Manny can catch him again. Well, that was a pretty good straight left hand. He hurt him again and dropped him. That's a knockdown. This makes it a 10-7 round. Now Jerry's claiming that he slipped in the corner again. And he may have. We'll, we'll check that out in between rounds. In less than the next 25 seconds, Manny can catch him again. Remember, there's no three knockdown rule in this fight. Pacquiao's certainly putting the pressure on him. And if Algeria was crawling in back in the fifth round, this makes it a 10-7 round. Unless he drops him again. All right. Two knockdowns, that makes it a 10-7 round. All right, let's take a look at it now. There you see that strong left by Pacquiao. That hurt him. You saw his legs do a little dipsy doodle there, so you could tell that he was hurt. And then he just basically went down from the fusillade of punches, but it was that first straight left that really got him and hurt him and put him in a bad way. That was the first knockdown. Now take a look at the second knockdown coming up. See if you think there's a slip. No, there's a strong right, and then his leg does slip out from underneath well, him, but there was look a at the position of his legs Rich. right the same thing in that corner it's wet and the and he slipped this is a better shot watch what happens here 
Stay with it, guys. There is a strong right there from Manny before that. Yeah, and, but he did slip that back foot, and that's the same thing as the first knockdown of the fight back in the second round. But it scored a knockdown, so Chris is, you know, had the problem with the back foot slipping out in those corners. So for him, stay out of the corners if you possibly can. This is round seven. Pack is ahead by eight points. 60-52. Chris Algieri, so unusual as a fighter in so many ways. One of the ways is the fact that there really haven't been a lot of big name fighters out of Long Island. It's not exactly, a, you know, the centerpiece of American boxing. Jerry Cooney from Long Island? Yes, yeah. Jerry Cooney buddy and uh, Buddy McGirt. Buddy, that, yeah, yeah, Buddy. That's about it. <laughs> Jerry's a great guy, and so is Buddy. Two good guys. Manny Pacquiao on the assault here now, landing more blows. Is that left hand through? Not a lot of power behind it, but he's getting it through. And Chris not landing much at all. He's had the most success landing that right hand, but been victimized twice by the right foot slipping out on the painted areas and the water in the corners. Algeria really needs to pump his left jet. Well, there it is. That's what he Jeff, needs to do you more. Said it. Perfect. We're in round seven. Kotai Arena, Macau. Back out to the left. Algeria with his name in the back. Now to the left. Manning with a nice combination, followed by the right hand. Nothing big there, but a nice combination. So right, he slipped again. That time he was loading up, coming off his right foot, and it slipped from beneath him, so no power behind it. Been a real problem for Chris. Combination of the fresh paint, the water in the corners, and probably new shoes for Algeri. Bad. But Manny's not slipping. And he's starting to put punches together. Yeah, he is, Rich. Round seven. This is scheduled for 12. Already in my score sheet, Algeria needs to knock him down two or three times to knock him out to win this fight. Without knocking him down, he's got no shot. Decent right hand. Again, the right hand has been effective, but that's only really maybe the fourth or fifth time that Chris has been able to land it solidly. And that was a body shot. Very really? clear Goodbye, thinking guys. kid and clear talking kid, isn't he? Algeri, master degree in nutrition. Yeah, and one thing I like is he's not panicking. And no, he's one not. thing I really hate is when a fighter comes back to his corner and his corner man is all panicked and screaming and yelling. And they're not, they're certainly not panicking. Listen to them, you think, you know, he's right in the fight. And, and that may be, you know, they may feel that they can take him out late. I don't know. It's got to be that feeling because they give away an awful lot. This is Pacquiao combinations. Chris Boxing, nice using that jab right now. Yeah, he certainly moves very well. Pacquiao is such a good fighter, such a multi talented fighter, and he has the power. Not to mention the lone congressional representative from the Sarangani province. That's right. He's had Algeria down three times in this fight, once in the second round, twice in the sixth round, and two of the three knockdowns have involved the hind foot of Algeria slipping out from behind him, but there were punches in, in front of it. So, I mean, there were legitimate knockdowns. Gino Rodriguez has uh, done the right thing in every case. I mean, this is a nice boxing round for Chris, but he's not landing anything big. The heads came together. They're asking him for more of those straight rights in the corner. Whether he can deliver or not is another thing. Well, that's the problem. And that's what this fight is about right now. Manny got his left hand off. Manny not landing as many shots in this round as he did back in the sixth and in the seventh. 
but still out punching and out landing Chris Algieri. I don't know what Algieri is complaining about. I think he's saying he got hit in the hip. You know who's great at hitting guys in the hip was Larry Holmes. He did break the legs down by whacking him on the hip with his right hand. You'll and numb it if you. Yeah. <laughs> for a while. Larry was great at a lot of things. Well, Jerry just boxing nicely now, but you know, going to the well, but coming up a little dry. Not, in other words, not landing many punches. Pacquiao continues to miss a lot of punches, but he's landing more than Chris is. Now Jerry's going to have to start thinking offense. He does have a terrific jab. He really does. But he's got to have something more than but that. But he really hasn't snapped the head back of Manny on, on many a case. Oh. Manny just raised him at the end to put an exclamation point on it. All right, here we go. Round number nine. The Colonel along with Rich Morata. Glad that you can be with us. Our principals for this world championship fight. Sorry. I was lost. They had a catch weight of 144, but they're both over 147 for a nice fight anyway. This is for the WBO Welterweight Championship of the World. Not a lot of tying up in this fight at all. Gino hasn't had to be too busy at all, has he? No, only. Busy trying to decide whether it's a knockdown or a slip. And so far, he's been right on the button with those. Manny got the left hand through that time. I think Pacquiao's fighting with a little more intent in this round. Yeah, he seems he's looking to be. for it, I think, yeah, Colonel. Yeah, he's definitely picked up the pace, and he's catching up with Chris. Chris isn't moving quite as much as he was. He still moves very well, mind you. They haven't been able to sling that right hand through there as a lead or as a follow behind his jab. He goes with the right hand lead that time, and Manny cuffs it away with the back of his left glove. Algeria is a 140 pound champion, and Manny at 147. And this fight was is being contested tonight at a catch weight of 144. But it's a 147 championship fight. Correct. So Chris will still be a world champion when this fight's over. Manny's not picking up that title. Because if oh, straight left hand right down the middle of Algeria's down for the fourth time of the fight. That's the best knockdown of the seven, fight. It's up to seven. Eight, and eight, nine. is he going to make it? Yeah, he oh, just barely. gets up. Wow, that was a tremendous oh, punch, a sensational power pack, like scorching that. shot by Manny Pacquiao. Certainly the best punch of the fight. And that's the first real serious knockdown. And there's a ton of time. Algeria's in a heap of trouble here. I think he went down to a knee. One, They're going to have to score two, that as a knockdown. Three, so he's four, down two times five, here. And he is six, very, very seven, wobbly. Eight, his legs are betraying him right now. Okay. He's got no legs right, underneath go him, five. and that's his main weapon. And his eyes are glassy. And here comes Manny again. Remember, there's no free knockdown rule, but Gino can stop the fight if Algeri can't uh, defend himself. Manny's on top of him. He wants to knock him out right here. Look at this. He okay. said the fire's back and he's throwing like it is. Yeah, he's trying to take him out. He looked like he's going to stop the fight. Well, Pacquiao thought the fight was being stopped right there. I don't know why Gino stopped in the hands of Trey. Because he doesn't know how much time is remaining in this round. And Pacquiao was giving him a really a wallop. Inside of 10 seconds to go, it looks like he'll survive. And the round is over. All right, we'll take a look at it. There it is, that scorching left hand, a perfect punch by Manny Pacquiao to score the first knockdown. Oh. Manny put everything into that one. He was moving mostly forward, but a little bit to his left. No, and that was the first knockdown. Then the second knockdown, he just unloaded. Manny started throwing everything. As we said, it looked like his fire was back. He went down. Algeria immediately got up, but still correctly called a knockdown. I don't think that Algeria get enough time to recover in between because those were two hard knockdowns. Now here's Manny. He wants to continue to keep the pressure on. He let an awful lot go himself in that last round, so 
He wants to land that powerful left hand again if he possibly can. Well, Chris Algeri has been down five times in this fight. Algeri to this point is getting an old fashioned whoop in his thing. Manny on the assault again with solid left. Right hand uppercut has Algeri going back. His legs are shot right now. His legs aren't there. See his knees, he's wobbly. He uh, doesn't have particularly good balance. And of course, Pacquiao with those huge caps. Look at the difference in the size of the caps on these two fighters. Man, he's got very strong pins underneath him. I'm sure Freddie Roach is anxious for Manny to just go for it. You know, Freddie in some of uh, Pacquiao's fights has had to tell Manny, look, it's your job to knock this guy out. Because Manny's uh, demeanor is to take his foot off the pedal sometimes late in a fight. But I'm, so I'm sure Freddie is reminding him again, go get that knockout, knock this guy out. Well, in the Margarito fight, man, he did take his foot off the gas. I thought he was going to kill Margarito. Lawrence Cole didn't want to stop the fight. He wanted to let, let it go to see, you know, give him a chance to knock him out. Margarito uh, is tough as they come, but Algeria is very tough too, but he's not standing up to Manny Pacquiao after being down five times. I'll never forget Roach telling Manny Pacquiao in the corner, when uh, Manny had Oscar De La Hoya in a bad way. Look, it's your job to knock him out. Now, Manny's, Manny's just really overpowering him here. A lot of time in this round, and he's got to have Jerry soften up and up, I think. Well, Jerry's legs actually look stronger now than they did about a minute ago in this round. Oh, boy, he cracked him again. He wobbled. He looked like a paper fluttering in the wind. Chris tries to throw the uppercut, but there's nothing on it again. Right foot slipped up from behind him on the Ducati sign. When that happens, it's it's frustrating beyond belief to a fighter. And he catches him with a powerful left again. Here's the combination, and down goes Chris Algieri for the sixth time in the fight. His eyes are clear, and he should be able to continue. Seven. There's the standing hey, eight. On, Not standing eight, the eight count. Yeah. Says right, he's pop. okay, and his eyes are clear. Stop. All right, let's take a look once again. We, we could see that Pacquiao was fighting with more intent in that round. He came out, he was really sitting down in his punches. He is definitely looking for the KO. And it, just an assault, just that all-out assault. Those were all clean punches sent Algeri to the canvas. Algeri trying to stay up. See that right hand yeah, inside? Yeah, the right hand snapped his head again. That first one was on the back of the head. The second one, though, was the key punch in that uh, combination. Well, here we go to round 11. Legs seem okay of Chris right now, but when the very early seconds here of the 11th round, he's got no shot to win except by knockout, and it's not going to happen, folks. He's been down six times in this fight. He's behind by 16 points in the score sheet. It just doesn't seem like the kind of fighter, you know, a Juan Manuel Marquez could catch Pacquiao with the punch of the century and knock him out. But Marquez has a lot more going for him in the ring, a lot more tools and weapons and power yeah, than yeah, does well, Algeri. That's a key factor, Rich, that uh, Algeri doesn't possess that power. And that's what he needs now if it were to happen to catch him with a punch light, but he doesn't have that kind of power, especially at this stage. See, he almost tipped over that time. He's got those uh, very, you know, he's so tall and he's got the slender legs and Manny, meanwhile, has got like two fire hydrants on the head. Chris is trying to throw more at him. Well, I give him all the credit in the world coming off the canvas six times. And you know, you mentioned and your pre-fight comments, Colonel, but those 19 world champions, current, past, interim that he's fought, you just can't underestimate the value of that. With that kind of experience in big fights, Chris is hurt again, I think. Difficult to tell his legs look okay, but not great. His heels are down now. Not moving anywhere near as much as he did in the early rounds of this fight when you know you listen to him about the strategy that it was just the way they wanted to go but you know with the knockdowns and whatnot Manny started getting so far in front of this fight that 
it's, it was next to impossible for Algeria to crawl back into this thing. Yet it's still, we all have the anticipation of seeing that Manny Pacquiao can knock him out. Yeah, and what they didn't probably anticipate was Manny picking up his punch output and pick, picking up his power punch output as the fight was going along. Now the chance go up for Manny. Pacquiao continues to score clean blows, left hand, right hand. And the left hand that you see him land is his power shot to the south ball. They caught him with the right hand that time. Snapped the head of Chris. Left hand caught him just above the glove. Pan Manny Pacquiao is not being merciful in this fight. He's looking for it. He, he wants to score the KO. Closing seconds now of the 11th round, and it's a Manny Pacquiao clinic tonight. Well, I know Algeria's corner is urging him to go for a knockout, and I wouldn't doubt that Freddie Roach is doing the same with Pacquiao. For sure, remember Algeria down in the second round, down two times in the sixth round, down two times in the ninth round, and down again in the tenth round. And here we go for the 12th and final round. It's been the Manny Pacquiao show tonight. Manny will look for that big shot to land that left hand to try and take this guy out in this final round of the fight. Trying to set him up with the right jab. He goes to the left hand lead again. Trying to catch him with a big powerful shot. At this stage of the Margarito fight, you're right, Rich. He took the foot off the gas, but I, I, I can see it in his eyes that he wants to try and take this guy out. He really wants a knockout. Right. And he famously did it in the first Tim Bradley fight, and it cost him the fight. That one partially blocked in the back of the glove of Chris Algieri. But Algieri hasn't got enough power offensively now to do anything to Manny, and Manny is the one plodding forward trying to catch up with Chris here. Chris bounces the right hand off of Manny's head. Manny with the assault with that left hand. Now here comes the power. And a cuff behind the right ear with that left hand. Pacquiao's bruised a, a little bit in the face, but nailed with a solid right hand. Manny's still trying to catch up with this guy. It's remarkable the condition that Algeria's in, that he can move this well on his weak legs. I mean, he is in tremendous shape. Oh, absolutely. Put in a great training camp, uh, most of it in Las Vegas. And they worked and worked and worked. Now, it's great when you get two great professional athletes come in here, but Pacquiao just showed his class tonight. You know, I'll never forget the first time I saw Manny K Pacquiao in action in Las Vegas, the day that the Heat fought Lilo Ladwaba of South Africa. And, man, and Freddie Roach, I was talking to him in the morning of that fight, he goes, and he told me, keep an eye on this kid I've got tonight, Manny Pacquiao. I think he's pretty good. And he was right. <laughs> and, he, Pacquiao put on a sensational performance that night, and where you think, when you think of where he's come from, Colonel, from that 14-year-old kid trying to escape extreme poverty, selling cigarettes on the streets of Manila, to where he is today, and what he's gone through and done in his career, it's amazing. And with all the fame and fortune that he has, he's still a terrific kid. Very much loved, he's an icon in the Philippines. Everybody loves him, everybody that has known him and has the opportunity to visit with him is very fond of him, and Algeria's a lovely fellow too. But it wasn't Chris Algeria's night tonight. This is the Manny Pacquiao show from start to finish. That's it, it's all over. Manny Pacquiao has retained his championship of the world in some kind of fashion. And Algerian, very sportsmanlike fashion, as you'd expect from him, goes over immediately, puts his arm around Manny, and Pacquiao now can accept the congratulations from Algeria's Team. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Venetian Macau Hotel Resort, we go to the scorecards. Levi Martinez scores it 119-103. Patrick Morley has the same score, 119-103. And Michael Pernick scores it 120 to 102. All three judges scored for the winner by unanimous decision. And still WBO welterweight.
champion of the world, Manny Pacman.